Hey y'all, it's Leslie. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. So glad you made it. If you're not, thanks for coming back. We're going to be doing a video on how a couple ways you can get closer to Christ. As Christians, there are some days where we're like on fire. We're there for God. Our relationship with God is tight, like tight, tight, tight. And then there are some days where our relationship is rocky and we're not feeling as close to God as we really want to. And so I wanted to share with you guys some tips that I've been doing and also some tips that I've started doing that have helped me really solidify my relationship with Christ and tips that I continue, I pray that I continue to do. So yeah, let's start this video off with prayer. Dear kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for this day that you have given us. We're so grateful for another day that you have woken us up, given us the energy to breathe, given us the energy to be able to do what we need to do today. I pray, Lord, that you'll bless and guide anyone who is watching this video. I pray that you'll help them to receive the revelation that they need to become close to you and to become one with you and to have your spirit with them always and i pray that y'all guide and protect after them and bless over them and their family and their lives say these things in the name of thy son jesus christ amen 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 give yourself a reason and find your purpose simple very simple so you can ask yourself the questions like um why am i wanting to get closer to god am i wanting to get closer to god because i truly truly want to or i feel like there's pressure you know because sometimes we may grow up as christians and we may always feel this pressure of like oh you need to do this right you need to do this right you need to do this right you need to be perfect but you truly need to find the reason and the purpose of why you're wanting to get closer to god you can ask yourself like simple questions like what am i grateful for today what is something i'm grateful for that god has given me today by being grateful you can also ask yourself how can i glorify god what are ways that i can glorify god today can i read my scriptures today can i go and share the gospel with others today can i share a scripture verse with a friend you know things like that um and you can also ask yourself am i truly living to serve god like in this mortal life god sent us here and we need to be wholeheartedly 100 percent trying to serve god we need to serve god not only spiritually but physically we need to take care of our bodies our temples you know even just those four little questions like and why why am i wanting to get closer to god am i truly serving god am i doing this for myself or am i truly doing it for god um how can i be grateful for today how am i grateful how have i been grateful how can i become more grateful and how can i glorify god so yeah that's just the first tip very simple very easy and kind of the second tip i want to give you guys that kind of flows in with that is to pray yeah so you can pray pray to god to help you to understand what you need to do pray to god and be like god how can i glorify you today god how can i deepen my relationship with you today how can i be grateful for today you know just things like that just praying god listens he hears he hears you i promise you god hears you sincerely sincerely pray to god i pray in the morning at night over my food and even when i pray in those little moments i always ask god what would you want me to do what do you want me to do even when i'm praying over my food i'm like god thank you for this food god help me to know what i need to do today especially in the morning during breakfast it's just like a time where i'm able to be by myself and i to god and ask him what do i what do i need to do today what are things that you need more of in your life like maybe you need more um time with a specific person maybe you need more time in a specific place doing a specific thing you know and also you can pray to god what do you need less of god do i need less time doing this do i need less time around this person do i need less time in this place because when you pray to god for that he will give and take what you need in that moment and in that time trust me trust me god when you ask god for something oh he will give it to you so be mindful when you do ask god for something and it happens don't be shocked don't be shocked because remember you asked for it and it's just like those people in the bible there are people in the bible and the people in the book of mormon that like god give me a sign and they get that sign and then they're shocked that they got that sign yeah yeah god will deliver when you pray it's either yes 
no or this is not the right time so if you get a definite no yes you will know in your spirit and in your heart and when you speak to god that oh this is yes this is something that i need to do and when it's a no you also have the the feeling of oh maybe i shouldn't do this this is not no not right now no 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 and when it's not right now sometimes for me personally when i know it's not right now is when i don't get an answer because then i know oh maybe god will answer this in a different time but for me personally that's how i know but you can also pray to god to figure out how you can know the third thing this can be very controversial limit your time on the phone Just don't spend money or time on material things that's it period so like limit your time on the phone but you know everything in moderation so for me my time limit on my phone is two hours i know crazy two hours mm -hmm. but on the weekends i'll let myself have a little leeway do three or four hours um but just limit your time on the phone and spend time with god so some ways that you can be off your phone and still spend time with god and glorify god is like be out in nature recently i've been going on runs every day every other day um i've been going doing dance classes i've been doing yoga i've been just out i've been hanging out with my friends spend time when you go out spend time with people that will help you grow your relationship with god if there are people in your life that you're questioning or you're like mm, i don't think we are getting along right now maybe that's you need to let go of that person and move on with your life because there are friends that I have in my life where they're like questioning like, oh, should I really be hanging out with this person? Or I even question myself, oh, should I really be hanging out with this person? Is this person really going to help me glorify God or come closer to God? The people you surround yourself with and the people you hang out with is who you become. I know that's hard to hear, but it's true. Like, find good friends and good people that you know you can trust that will help you become closer to God and will help you become a better person, become a better you. So when you find those people, stick with them, stick with them. I have like two good friends in my life and I know that I can trust them always. That when we go out, when we hang out, when we, whatever we do, it glorifies God. That whenever we do something, we're doing something that will bring us closer to God and bring us closer to, together. My mom always said that it's better to have one good friend than a hundred bad friends. And that's so true. Just find good friends that will help you become closer with God. Because once you find that, you know, you found a friend for life. The last tip would be scripture study. It's one of those obvious ones, but it's hard to keep up with. So I've come up with my little routine for my scripture study i do it in the morning i know some people do it in the night some people do it in the evening but i mainly do my scripture study in the morning because when i wake up i brush my teeth use the bathroom i go on a run or i do my workout i come home i take a shower and i make breakfast and i sit down and i read my scriptures because like that's the one time of the day where I know I'm not going to be busy is when I'm eating breakfast. I leave my phone in my house. So when I wake up, I don't even look at my phone. I wake up, my phone's still there. I put on my watch. The only like type of technology I have in the morning is my Apple watch. I put on my Apple watch. I go on a run or I do my workout and then come back. I make breakfast and I spend my time with God. In the morning, that is my time with God. Pray to find when is works for you make time for god guys scripture study is so important like i can't explain to you how how much closer i feel to god just knowing that i have a consistent scripture study you know like oh tomorrow morning i get to wake up and i get to spend time with god scripture study make it fun i can make a little video on how you guys can enjoy scripture study so for me i like to be alone i take my scriptures my sticky notes if you can already see them and i write down verses that make an impact on my spirit or that stand out to me and then i put them on my wall and some people i know they like to do scripture study like mix it up a bit make scripture study fun for you so some people they'll listen to music some people they'll just do what i do go outside and be at peace um 
some people will do it with others like some people will go on a picnic some people do, will do it with friends some people will do it inside alone in their bed some people go outside and do it and some people will just listen to it whatever method works for you do it and stick with it be consistent if you can be consistent in your scripture study your relationship with god can be consistent too hey guys so obviously i'm laying in bed editing this video and one more idea popped into my head one more thing i don't know how i completely forgot this but it's spend time in the house of the lord go to church go to the temple walk the temple grounds if you're not able to go inside the temple basically spend time in his house spend time doing things that christ would have done if he was here i don't know how i completely forgot that guys <laughs> this is embarrassing but yeah spend time in the lord's house go to the go to church on sundays go to activities um whenever you can and go and spend time in the house of the lord go to the temple perform sacred ordinances and if you can't go to inside the temple go to the temple grounds it is so special the spirit you can feel in the temple and outside of the temple on the spirit grounds on this on the temple grounds the spirit is still strong the spirit is just as strong on on the temple grounds as it is inside the temple um yeah i i don't know how i completely forgot that but i did but yes go and spend time in the house of the lord spend time in the house of the lord and with the people that are in the house of the lord yeah go to the temple go to the temple spend time in the house of the lord and go to church and spend time with god's people yeah but yeah i hope you guys like this video i know it's completely different than what i do do but yeah this is a faith and lifestyle youtube channel and so i i posted a lot of faith stuff in the beginning and then i started vlogging more and then i stopped and i was like i need to get back on my faith my faith videos like i miss making these i hope you guys like this week's video i love you and jesus loves you and i pray that this video i pray that this video helps you at least come closer with god i hope one of these tips helped you um and if you guys ever have any questions or concerns or problems feel free to reach out to me on instagram dm me all my links are in the description but yeah i love you and jesus loves you and i can't wait to see you guys next time bye